All right, so in the last video, we set it up so our firearm has the ability to line up, aim, shoot, and all that kind of stuff, and we're good to go there. Uh, the only thing I did was I slowed down the projectile speed just so you could visually see it, like so. Uh, that's the only difference. But now what we want to do is we want to set it up to actually customize this firearm. So we want to add things like a hollow sight, a suppressor, and a vertical grip. Now, we are not going to be using the ones that are provided in this video, like from this pack. That will come in later when I show you how to set them up from scratch. So we're going to use ones that are already existing. So, whoops, I loaded up the wrong thing. So we are not going to be using these yet. Those will come in the next few videos. So to begin, basically the way you add an attachment is through a component. So what we're going to do is add a component to our firearm. If we search for FPS, you will see this FPS part component. Now this is where everything basically happens. So let's go ahead and indicate that this one is a site. So we don't have to rename it, that's just for the sake of clarity. So what I'm going to do now is to make sure that it follows the firearm, I'm going to make sure it's attached to the B underscore gun root. And then I'm going to give it a preview mesh. So if you come down here, you will see under the FPS template section, we have this section called preview mesh. Drop it down, open up static mesh, and here we can test the part. So this is going to be the hollow site. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the hollow site as a preview. And it is there, so we can drag it up. We need to rotate it by 90 degrees to get it in the correct orientation. And now we just got to position it where we want. So we want it to be about there. I'll just butt it up against the rear site. And that one's pretty much good to go. So even if I hit play right now, you're not going to actually see it. So it doesn't exist there. Like there's nothing actually there. So what we want to do is we want to come over here to the default part and possible parts. Now this is where the actual parts get basically created. So possible parts are a list of, well basically it's an array of compatible parts that can go on this part component. So this is used for firearm customization for basically filtering out parts and all that stuff. So we're going to go to, because we know we want this hollow site here, we want to add that as a possible part. So I'm going to add another element and search for hollow site and add the BP underscore hollow site right to it. Now, even though it's there, nothing has changed. That's because if we want it to spawn when the firearm spawns, we have to make sure we add it as a default part as well. So the, the default part is kind of as the name suggests, the part that spawns by default. So now you can see it is right there, and we actually are aiming with it instead of the rear sight. So it overrode that. So we now have a sight set up, and we can change that between any of these parts as long as we have it in the list of possible parts as well. So again, this is strictly used for firearm customization as it's a way to filter out parts that are incompatible. So next up, let's do the same thing for the muzzle. So we're going to add a FPS part component just to make sure it's attached to the root. I guess it could be attached here if you wanted to, but I don't really care to. And I'll do it to the, uh, attach it to the S underscore muzzle. And we'll give this the, let's do the oil filter. That seems like more fun. All right, so that's just rotated a little bit. Not hugely fond of that. I'm gonna actually just go back to the root and drag it around. Should zero out the rotation. Rotate by 90, and position it semi in this area. We'll try to get it to where it looks good. I'm going to actually make it completely encompass the uh, muzzle device there, just so we don't see it. Okay, so we have that. Now we know it's the oil filter suppressor, so we're going to set that as the default part. And same thing, add it to the possible parts. So now when we hit play, we have an oil filter. You can see it's already playing the suppressed sound. Due to the way that it's set up, if we actually look at the muzzle device, we can see that it has options for that. So for example, is it a suppressor? Yes, it is. So we can control what sound to play based upon that value. So lastly, we want to do the forward grip. So we're going to add one more FPS part. And I'm actually rename this one to muzzle and this one to forward grip. All right, so let's add a forward grip. So this one's going to be, let's do the, actually I'll do the angled grip. So AFG and attach it to the root and move it into position. So again, rotate by 90 
and we're going to drag this up. The reason I'm using the angled grip is for the sake of uh, not having proper animations for any of the vertical grips. And I'll end up explaining that in one of the future videos as well. So now we do the default part, so the angled forward grip, like so, and hit play. So you can see here, now it broke the left hand. So that's because it is now using, instead of the left hand IK on the firearm, it is using the left hand IK for the attachments, so the forward grip. So if we go to it, you can also see we have this grip animation. So that is what is controlling, or basically breaking our wrist. So as you can see here, it's rotated down and all that kind of stuff, and that's basically because it's trying to mimic this pose that does not actually exist for, you know, the mannequin. So that's something we would want to basically get rid of. So you can just zero this out, like so. Head over to the static mesh. And here we have, again, a left-hand IK socket. So now let's go ahead and hit play and get it positioned at least somewhat decently. So we need to come down a good bit, go forwards. Let's actually go back and go this way. Okay. So probably somewhere around in there, and let's hit save. So now we have that working with it. So as you can see, the hand is all the way up towards the front of the handguard. And if I were to drag this back all the way to the rear, you can see now the hand is a lot farther to the rear. So it's basically following the forward grip. So wherever you move it, as long as left hand IK is enabled for the firearm, it will follow and track with the grip. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the basics of how you handle attachments. Now that works for like literally everything. So you can make a gun builder out of this if you're familiar with the default M4. The only thing that it is is the receivers and the buffer tube. Everything else is a part component from all of these parts. So, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. And I believe in the next few videos, we are going to actually work on setting up these parts from scratch. So setting up an optic, setting up a muzzle device, setting up a vertical grip, forward grip, whatever, and magnified optics. So I will see you then.